Hi everyone, Carmen Broxma here with Choose Joy with Carmen and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm just going to be sharing with you what I'm working on today. And I don't know if you all, I've mentioned it I think before in one of the videos, I don't remember exactly which one, but I'm approaching 2023 differently this year. I don't really have a scheduled uh, plan because I have to make room for the unexpected. And I wrote all about this, and it's a pretty long blog post, but I posted it on December 26th, and I will link that blog post in the description if you wanna go read it. But I just knew that I couldn't really plan anything specific. I mean, I have my collaboration team with Call Me Crafty Al, and that I've committed to, and so that will be on a, on a schedule, but I don't want to add a whole lot of committed schedule items that would make it hard for me to keep on top of, because I, I want to be able to plan or for allow for the unexpected to happen. For example, this week, I came down with some kind of a stomach bug, I guess. It wasn't nothing major, but it was not comfortable and I wasn't in the mood to crafting and I was dealing with that. So if I would have had something planned this week, then I would have felt that pressure to get it done or have to be, have to come on here and explain to you all why I didn't get it done. And I just don't even want to go down that road. That to me is just stress and I am doing everything in my power to not put any extra stress on my life. So with all that being said, this is what I'm working on today. So I, I don't know if you saw the card that, or the video that I put when I created this card for, um, I think it was Craft Roulette episode 144. So I already had all the supplies out on my desk here and I thought, you know, before I put it away, Let's get more cards done than just this one. And because I need sympathy cards, uh, you know, that was my focus on that card and I can work on more. So what I ended up doing, and this is kind of a little organization thing that I'm working on as well. So it's kind of a combo of a couple things. But I went ahead and pulled out this beautiful binder that I had that I hadn't used. And I decided that I am going to print off all of the sheet load sketches. And I'm gonna put them in the binder based on the month. So like, here's January 23, and then you go back and there's January 22, and January 21, and uh, January 2020, and there there wasn't a January for 2019 because I don't believe she started till July of 2019. But anyway, I decided <clears throat> that I'm going to do this, and I'm putting them in these page protectors so that I can put in the binder, and I'm just going to work myself with printing these out because here's what I want to do. So what I'm going to do with this the supplies that are laid out on my desk right now, instead of putting them away and coming up with more products to do, I am going to focus on, now I don't know that I'm, I haven't made up my mind yet, if I'm gonna do one for January of 2023, since now that I'm on the collaboration team, I already did a set of cards with this, but we'll decide. But what I'm doing, if you've noticed that now that I've, I'm on the collaboration team, I'm making this 2023, I'm printing it out in color. All the other ones I'm printing out in black and white because I'm just going to be using them as my guide to creating cards. Now here's what I love about this. Because when you print these at 100%, you know, this is exactly what the card will look like. So here's an example. Here are some pieces here that were left over from that card that I did for Craft Roulette. 
And so what I can do now is let me turn this around, see if I can get this in here so that you can see it well, is I can take these pieces and look at them and go, okay, so for the January 22, would any of these pieces work? And what, what I can do is like, okay, see there's that background. I can lay that up and say, that's the perfect size for that. And then I thought, well, I could use this, but that wouldn't work, right? Because the direction needs to go this way. I could use it for that piece there and cut it down. Or I can just go through the, the rest of the January templates and decide, well, see, look, this might be perfect for this back piece here. And, you know, I would have to cut off a little bit, but then when I cut that off, well, maybe that piece would work perfect for down here. See, so I love this and I'm going to be, that's how I'm going to be doing this. And I just thought this would be something fun for me to work on. So I just wanted to come on here and share it with you all. But I don't have the cards created yet, so I can't share those. So I will share those in another video as soon as I get them done. So... Hopefully you liked my plan. I like it and it's going to allow me to use the products I have out, use up more designer series paper, use the scraps that I have from previous card making, and then move on to another project. Alrighty, well I hope you all enjoyed that and thank you so much for all of you who follow me on a regular basis and who have subscribed to my channel recently, oh my gosh, you are all just amazing. Um, I am now over 600 followers and I know it has to do with the fact that I am now part of the collaboration team. And so I thank Call Me Crafty Al for that. But you know, you all have to subscribe as well and you did and I just wanna say thank you so much. And so if you, you know, like what you're seeing, giving me a thumbs up, commenting, all that good stuff is so helpful. And sharing it with other people too, that is, that would be greatly appreciated. All right, well, I am going to sit down here and try to figure out what cards I'm going to make with all the January sketches from Call Me Crafty Owl. Have a great one, everyone, and until my next video, happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.